Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me as we check out the Hot Wheels Legends Tour Car Show. The 2018 Hot Wheels Legends Tour celebrates 50 years of Hot Wheels with stops in 15 U.S. cities. There are a lot of hot cars to see, so let's get to it. This is a vintage Jeep which has been chopped into a custom hot rod. The interior and center console look really nice. Up front we have a 454 big block Chevy engine with a high-rise intake manifold and dual carbs. Fans of the show Fast and Loud will recognize this 1968 Corvette that was featured in Season 9 and nicknamed the Midas Monkey. Shown here with the Hot Wheels version as well. The Diora 2 is one of the wildest Hot Wheels cars. A full-size version was built with Chip Foose in 2003 for the 35th anniversary of Hot Wheels. This one really drives. The Bone Shaker is another iconic Hot Wheels car that has been replicated in full scale. Here's the legendary Twin Mill, with its twin supercharged 502 cubic inch V8 engines. This one's always a fan favorite. I've got to say, it looks stunning in metallic blue with those giant intake scoops. Local car owners were also invited to enter their own rides into the show. This hot rod is a full-size version of the classic Radio Flyer Red Wagon, but with a V8 engine up front. Let's take a look at the custom interior. You know, I think there might be more supercharged cars at this event than non-supercharged. A hot rod fire truck? Now that's cool. This is a 2018 Copo Camaro with Hot Wheels 50th anniversary graphics on it. Man, does that thing sound good. While I'm not normally a fan of gasser style hot rods, I'm really liking this Thunderbird. Here we've got a Studebaker that is completely shaved and smoothed. There's a lot of custom bodywork here. Studebaker. 
This person set up their Hot Wheels collection on the dash. As you can see, this is a big show with a really good turnout. There is so much to see here. This Chevy SSR is pretty over the top. I've always had a soft spot for mini trucks, despite never having owned one. This Datsun truck is really eye catching. <laughs> what is this thing? It has that riveted metal bodywork like an old airplane. Really nice fabrication work. This Corvette has a lot going on, but honestly, it does look like a Hot Wheels car. This Pro Street Thunderbird is really cool. I love the pink and the gray. I gotta tell you, I go to a lot of car shows, and the stuff that shows up at these Hot Wheels shows isn't at any of the other car shows in town. Get a load of this retro-styled Mustang. It looks straight out of Pimp My Ride. Chopped roof, candy paint, it's uh, really something. Sure, he's not here right now, it's mine. What are you talking about? 
Oh, really? Back, it into the garage. Yeah, about two feet. <laughs> Does it go? Oh, yeah. Right on. Heck yeah. You don't have to too big for that little car. I know. <laughs> it, it's difficult. <laughs> Of course, we've got the off-road Miata with the light bar. This is a full-size truck that's been customized like a mini truck. Wow, look at that paint job. And it even continues to the interior. This is a totally wild build. Here's a very unique Camaro with a replica machine gun on the fender. This kind of reminds me of something that I would have driven in uh, Twisted Metal. You guys remember that game? There are just so many cars, it's hard to cover them all. It just wouldn't be a car show without a couple of Beatles. This is a special edition 2013 Hot Wheels Camaro. These cars are actually pretty rare, only about 1500 were ever made. Check out this hacked up Cherokee nicknamed the Terminator. This Chevrolet LS engine is a perfect fit in this classic Datsun. I bet this car is an absolute blast to drive. You know, nothing draws a crowd like a crowd. Let's see what's going on with this car.
This 1966 Chevy C10 Dragster belongs to Dan Robertson of Prescott, Arizona. This truck was the winner of the 2018 Hot Wheels Legends Tour in Arizona. It really doesn't come across well on video, but just watch everyone holding their ears. This truck was painfully loud. Here's a custom Kenworth semi-truck that's bagged to the ground.